Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to the Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Today, we are on our hands-on beginner number 3. So let's proceed to this stop. This is something like scrolling on the spreadsheet we have. That's why I'm going to teach you on how to use this spreadsheet as much as possible. You can over round so that very easy for you to manipulate data. First, we have here a what you so called B cell and that is considered to be in row 1 and column A but if you're going to make the end of the cell okay, you can use arrows so the four arrows in your keyboard you can use also by not clicking the mouse point so for example I'm going to use arrow down that's it then it will go downward arrow up it will go upwards then uh, you can use also arrow right it will go to the right and arrow left it will go back to its beginning so if we want to move to something like right here to make it more simple you can we, we can use mouse so that we can click instantly on the specified area but sometimes there are things that we need to use arrow rather than the mouse pointer how about if we're going to check the end of row so what do we need to do to make the end rows so you can use control arrow down so that you can see that we have here control plus arrow down so we can get the the end of the row which is 65,536 and if you want to go back you can use control up arrow so there it is so control plus up arrow another is the column this is the beginning of the column and what is the end if we're going to use scroll it's only R so rather than using this uh, mouse pointer we can use arrow so you can press control right and we can go to the end which is considered to be IV and we can go back again by pressing control left arrow so it will go back again to home and that is how we uh, maneuver the cell using mouse pointer and the arrow pointers now for example we're going to use numbering like one you're going to type so this is considered to be hassle enough because you are typing one at a time it consumes many seconds or many minutes to finish this numbering for example you wanted to put number one to six thousand or forty five thousand imagine that there are techniques in excel that you can use in numbering so let's proceed for example i'm going to put here one again the target is one to one hundred so you can click back again there's a what you call fill handle right here so you can uh, point the arrow or the white cross hold arrow you can drag that until 100 so this is something like uh, techniques in in excel and you will notice that it is considered to be from 1 to 100 it is 1 but we have here a what you called option it's called out of fill option this one and there's a what you called fill series so you can click this fill series you will notice that it's considered to be 1 to 100 already and that is the advantage of a spreadsheet we didn't type 1 to 100 because it consumes time but uh, instantly we can get that 100 by simple clicks so how about by column so if we're going to type numbers by column we can use that also bz let's have one then let's move out to bz that's it then we can go to fill series and just in case it is not moved to something like 100 to make it tally you can adjust it automatically okay that is the beauty of spreadsheet so we have 91 and that's 100 so they are the same so look at that that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck